Welcome to a Tuts Plus Quick Tip Screencast. My name is Cheryl Graham, and in this video, I'm going to concentrate on how to set and change the colorization method of custom brushes in Illustrator. Here I have a group of grungy shapes that I'm going to make into a brush. And if I select each object with my direct selection tool, you can see in the color panel that each one is a percentage of black. So I have 29.8%, 89.8%, and 100% black, and so on. I'll select the whole group and drag it into my Brushes panel to create a brush. I'll choose Art Brush and click OK. Here's the section of the Art Brush options that we're going to concentrate on, the Colorization field. Right now the method is set to None, and I'm going to change it to Tints and click OK. There's my newly created brush in the Brushes panel, and I'll apply it to this stroke here. Since that stroke was originally black, the brush is black as well. But if I change it to blue or pink or green, it takes on that color plus that color's tints. I'm going to double click to edit this brush, and you can see that the method is tints, and each one of those colors is a tint of that original green. If I change it to tints and shades, and I have my preview button checked, you can see that the black in the original is black, and then the other colors are either shades of that color, that means black is added, or tints, that is lighter percentages of that stroke color. I'm going to cancel this so the color method remains tints. The tints method is great to use when you're using a spot color for your stroke color. So here I have a blue spot and a purple spot, and if I go up to my object menu to expand the appearance of the brush, that is turning it back into vector objects, now you can see that each of those objects is tinted in those same percentages with that spot color. So if you have a one color printing job, for example, the tint method would be great to use for any brushes. Here's a simple stroke with a decorative brush applied, and you can see in the tool panel that the stroke color is black. Even if I change it to blue or orange, the appearance of the brush is not changed. I'm going to double click to edit it, and we see that that's because the colorization method is currently set to None. If I change it to Tints, now all the elements in that brush are tints of the orange stroke color. If I change it to Hue Shift, whatever was green in the brush is now orange, which is the color I have selected in my tool panel, and that's based on the key color. The key color is the green, as you can see, so any objects in the brush that were green are now orange, and any other objects change color relative to their position of that orange on the color wheel. So you can think of red and green being opposite one another on the color wheel, and that's why we get blue in place of the red, because it is opposite orange on the color wheel. When I click OK, I'll get a warning message asking me if I want to apply those changes to the existing strokes, and I do, so I'll click Apply to Strokes. Now when I change the stroke color, again, all of the objects that were green in the original brush take on the color in my tool panel, and every other object changes relative to its position on the color wheel. This art brush in the shape of a pencil is currently stroked with a green, and that's again because it has none as the colorization method. I'm going to change the method to Hue Shift, and we now see that the objects that were red in the original pencil are now green. And here's that red swatch in my key color, and every other color in the brush has changed relative to its position on the color wheel. If I want to change the key color, I'll use the eyedropper to sample the colors in the original object. So I'm going to sample this orange here, and unfortunately it doesn't show up until you apply it to the strokes, even if you have the preview button checked, so I'll get that warning message again, and then click Apply to Strokes. And now you can see that what was orange, the wooden part of the pencil, is now green, because that's what I had selected in the color panel. And again, all of those other objects have changed relative to that green's position on the color wheel. I'll double click to edit this again, and in the brush options, you can click this light bulb icon to give you some tips about colorization in case you forget. When you create new brushes and you intend to share the brushes with someone or otherwise distribute them, it's a good idea to understand the colorization method. If somebody tried to recolor the brush stroke and you haven't set up the proper colorization, that user could become confused and frustrated. And you don't want that to happen. So be sure to use the colorization method that's appropriate for your brush.